Welcome to our UPM mock technical drawing for mechanical engineering. <clears throat> we are in module 3, part drawings, in unit 2, components of a part drawing. Now let's start module 3, unit 2. What are the principal components of a part drawing? Well, a part drawing contains view, section and sectional view, details, cutting place indications, dimensions, and the title book. What is a view? A view is a planar drawing of a three dimensional body. To obtain a view, <coughs> we need to perform a projection. To perform a projection are needed a projection plane and a point or a direction of projection. If we use a point, we obtain a conic projection that uh, <coughs> obtain more realistic, more visual perspective and with a direction we obtain a parallel projection which is more precise and more easy <coughs> to do. What type of projection is used in mechanical engineering? Parallel orthographic is used in which we have one direction and this direction is orth uh, orthogonal to the projection plane. We use <coughs> this type of projection both for regular or orthographic and for perspective views. This is because the orthographic views length and algal measurement can be done in true magnitude. How many views are there in a drawing? First, we need to start with the first view, the principal one, normally the front view. After that, we could require more views to describe the form and dimensions. This view can be the top or side ones, right side, left side. The direction of views consists with the A of the observer. Okay, the path has no left. R the engineer who has left or right. How arrange the view in the drawing? There are two systems. First order system, also called European system, and third angle system, also called American system. In the European system, the view that we get from a direction, for instance, top direction is placed in the opposite side. In this case we have the first view, the front view, and the view obtained from the top of this is placed, the top view, below the front view. So the right view is placed in the left of the front view. And if we are <coughs> looking at the top view from the front, we place the front view in the other side of the top view. In the title block of the drawing, we have uh, to place the symbol of the arrangement system. How around the view in American system? The view from a direction is placed in the same side, the opposite to the European <coughs> system. Note that the view from a direction is exactly the same in both systems. We are looking the same part from the same direction, so we have the same view. Only change the arrangement. Normally, that don't produce 
grave uh, problems, but in this case it's fundamental to up to now what systems are used. Other question is how represents inner elements of a part, holes and parts hidden for other. Normally parts have holes and other inner elements that are hidden by the outer elements. To describe adequately <coughs> the part, we can use hidden lines, but this process is not the most reliable even for very simpler parts because the visibility of this kind of lines in complex part is very poor. Better is to use sectional views. What is a sectional view? We are going to virtually cut the part by a plane AA with the direction of projection indicated by the arrows of course, orthogonal to the plane. Then the visual side ahead, the plane is removed and we obtain <coughs> a cut part, a cut zone <coughs> of the part. In this new part, virtually, we obtain new virtual surface that really doesn't exist and are hatchets to indicate this fact. The sectional, the sectional view is named as the cutting plane. How was the sectional view indicated? In case the cutting plane consists with a symmetry plane, indications are not necessary. For instance, the prior part really didn't need the indication of the of the plane. Otherwise, arrows, letters, while on dozens dotted line in HN and in the direction chains of the cutting line are required. To indicate precisely what is the way of the cutting plane. What is a section? A sectional view <coughs> could be too complex for same cases in which we don't need <coughs> to, to give additional information. In this case, in a section, only the intersection between cutting plane and part is drawn. The section can be removed over the relevant view, otherwise the section has to be indicated and placed <coughs> in other place of the drawing with the relevant name. Details. What is a detail? Drawing general scale is set for fitting the whole size of the part. So for a small feature and larger view of the sum is drawn. The detail or the original zone is indicated by a letter and routed by a circle. And then <coughs> this small part is enlarged and placed with the same letter as the <coughs> as in the zone of, of the view at a bigger scale. Dimension. What is a drawing dimension? It is an indication of the real size of a part element. The units of the dimension are not usually expressed in the dimension, but rather in traditional documents of are already understood due to the relationship between the manufacturers and the engineers. In mechanical engineering, most of the drawings are in millimeters. In other parts of the world, in American, the use of inch is also very common.
What are the components of a dimension? A dimension is composed by several elements that could or not appear in all the dimensions. First, we have the dimension length, which has to appear always. It has to be prior to the measurement. Then we have the dimension value. It may include a specific symbol to clarify what kind of geometry we are <coughs> treating. In this case, the amateur symbols indicate us that the dimension of 40 millimeters <coughs> correspond to a cylinder to a cylindric surface. Terminator. <coughs> Here we have our heads. Also, we can have <coughs> reference lines and we can use as reference the contour of axis lines of the views. How dimensions are placed in the drawing? Dimension values have to be read either from bottom or from the right of the drawing. The dimension of diameter 40 is read from bottom and the height of the cylinder, cylinder <coughs> is read from the right. In all the dimensions, its their values have to be read above the dimension line. How dimensions are placed in a drawing? How are arranged? We have two principal methods. In parallel methods, dimensions have the same origin, origin reference. This method produces a smaller overall dimension errors. That is, we contain the dimension errors along the part. In the chain dimensional method, dimensions are placed in a row. That is, the origin from a dimension is <coughs> the end of the prior dimension. In this case, we obtain an accumulation of dimension errors. The title block. The title block is an area of the drawing containing relevant information. This information could be the chains, the name of the company, the author, and other <coughs> relevant information plus the scale and the buffer arrangement that indicate us how are made <coughs> the drawing. Well, now let's summarize module 3, <coughs> unit 2. What have we learned? To describe precisely a part, normally we need that its drawing <coughs> contain views and sectional views to represent outer and inner elements of the part. These views are arranged following a standard disposition, American or European system. In case of sectional views, <coughs> have to be indicated by lines and arrow, not always and always appear new virtual areas that have been hatched to indicate that R belongs to virtual cats. The mention indicates us the real size and situation of the different elements that constitute the part. Sometimes small elements of a part have to be represented by enlarged details. Finally, the detailed blocks gives fundamental information about the part drawing.